Hey guys, happy Monday. I hope you all had a really awesome spring break. I hope you got outside and you played, and I hope you kind of put school at the back of your mind for just for a week. Um, but before we get started reading our book for today, I just wanted to say to parents and students, thank you guys so much for completing and helping your child complete their NTI work. You guys are rock stars. You are embracing this online learning experience and you're making the most of it for your child and you're helping them in their education. And from all the teachers at Barberville, I can really say thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> if you have any questions or about assignments or about materials, please let your child, your child's teacher know. We will help you in any way that we can. Um, like I said, this is a learning experience for all of us, so it may not be perfect, but we are getting it done. And if you have any questions about assignments, just let your child's teacher know or any teacher, um, and we will help you in the best way that we can, or we will get someone who can help you. Okay, today's read aloud is called The Smellophant. And The Smellophant is about Samson the elephant. And guess what? He stinks. He smells bad. And the reason that Samson smells bad is because he is scared of water. So he does not like um, taking a bath. And so the other elephants, they don't really understand why Samson doesn't want to get in the water and take a bath. Um, but he just, he, it's a fear of his. He's really scared of water. Um, this book is going to teach you about compassion, understanding others. So at first, those elephants, they don't understand Samson. They don't understand why he does not want to take a bath. But as the book goes on, they're going to understand him a little bit more. Facing your fears. Now, that's really appropriate because we had a bad storm last night, and it was scary. Um, I know a lot of kids are scared of storms and a lot of adults even, but um, the storm is over. See, we faced our fears. Maybe we held on to our teddy bear really tight or we curled up with our mom and our dad or our grandma or grandpa, um, but we all got through it. So we can face our fears together. And it's going to teach you about friendship and how important friendship is. Okay, let's get started. Okay, The Smellophant by Gavin Buckley. At the top of the hill, standing all on his own, is a curious creature a long way from home, with a boulder-sized body on short stumpy legs and a thin hairy tail all covered with pegs. He has short little tusks and huge floppy ears and sad little eyes, crying sad little tears. It's Samson the Smellophant, a glum little chap with a knot in his trunk and a pong at the back. He stays well away from the elephant fun as, he her as the herd romp and stomp in the warm summer sun. They hop and they skip, they jump and they shout, but one sniff of his whiff and he's always left out. So Samson just sits as they giggle and grin. He watches them play, but he doesn't join in. For this is the Smellophant, a lonely wee chap with a knot in his trunk and a palm at the back. Now I know what you're thinking. He just needs a bath. A good scrub in the tub and he'll be on the right path. But it isn't that simple and he'd rather stay dry. He's terrified of water, but no one knows why. So Samson just sits as they paddle and swim. He watches them splash, but he doesn't join in. For this is the smellophant, a scared little chap, with a knot in his trunk and a pong at the back. But later that day, as they snooze by the pool, the sky turns black and the air grows cool. A rumble of thunder, a flash of white light, and all of the elephants jump up with a fright. But Samson just sits. As they tumble and spin, he watches them run, but he doesn't join in. For this is the smellophant, a puzzled wee chap with a knot in his trunk and a pong on his back. 
The clouds crash again. The herd huddles low. There's no place to hide and there's no place to go. As the storm rambles on, the rain starts to fall. Samson just shrugs. This isn't scary at all. But the herd's in a fix. What a pickle they're in. Then with a flick of his tail, an idea comes to him. For this is the smell of it, a clever wee chap. Three pegs in his trunk and none in the back. The rain rattles down, the wind whistles by. He pegs up their ears in the blink of an eye. As if under a blanket, all cozy and warm, the herd snuggles down, now safe from the storm. The rain gently fades, dark clouds drift away. Birds sing in the trees and the sun lights the day. But where is the smell of it, that brave little chap with a knot in his trunk and a pong at the back? They search high and low until suddenly they see a curious little creature. No, could it be? He has a bolder sized body and on short stumpy legs and a thin soggy tail with no sign of the pegs. He has short little tusks and huge floppy ears. It's Samson, they cry amidst welcoming cheers. For now he's a hero that rain-washed wee chap with a nod in his trunk and the sun at his back. And as, it, as the sun sets over the hill, they join in the song about the tale of the smellephant who got rid of his palm. The end. I hope you guys liked that book. I thought it was really funny. Um, <laughs> And I like the rhyming too. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you are staying in um, social distancing. If you, like I said before, if you have any problems with homework or you need any help, please let a teacher know and we will help you any way that we can. Um, I'm glad a few of you got to see me. I wish I could see you back, but I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.